And today, she took the crisis as an opportunity to appear on another magazine cover, this time on Vogue, saying, we will decide our future. I think she means to say that she will decide Joe's future, but not according to voters who think it's time for him to step aside. According to a new Atlas poll, a top pollster in 2020, Trump is up more than five points nationally. CBS also releasing a post-debate poll showing that 72 percent of voters think that Biden doesn't have the mental and cognitive health to serve as president. But the Democrats don't care. The DNC is now reportedly weighing options to formally nominate Joe in mid-July, a month before their convention, in order to squash talks <coughs> of swapping him out. All right, Jason, give us the insight. So now it looks like the DNC, they want to formally nominate uh, Joe Biden in July. Obviously, there's panic happening. And on top of that, Joe Biden can't function past 4 p.m. What happens Well, now? look, again, and, and you and I have spoken about this many times, and that is when there are those in anonymous reports from out of the White House, throw them in the trash, right? Because they did that with, with your guy. They're doing that with my guy. And I will say... When it comes to uh, what we saw, of course, as I, as I said last week, he looked bad that night, and then he comes back the next day, and he looks 20 years younger, he's tan, he's, his voice is strong. Um, I think if he can keep that up, I think it's a good thing that this debate happened this early, rather than in September or October, where it's going to be fresh in people's minds, rather than the many appearances he can do in the meantime. The other thing is, though people thought that he gave a terrible performance, we saw, we, we look at the polls, which I'm, I'm not a huge fan of, but if you look at the polls, Morning Consult has Joe Biden still winning by one point. And in the aggregate, 538 has him, has Trump up by 1.8 points. If you think that that can't be overcome in the next couple of months, then I, I think you're in the wrong business here. Um, so I think, you know, and, and probably most importantly, and I'll just say this really quickly, Univision polled uh, voters, undecided Latino voters in Arizona, and found that most of them thought Joe Biden won the debate. So, again— That must have been a translation problem on Univision. Yeah. But, Virginia, let me ask you, I, I, Jill I is playing a very pivotal role in what uh, her decision with Joe Biden and how she handles him, and then is on the cover of Vogue, which, let me relate this, Melania Trump was never on the cover of Vogue. Mm -hmm. So you have the leftist propaganda now in these fashion uh, magazines. Your you thoughts? sure do. And it's very clear that Joe Biden is the one who's really driving and pushing President Biden to stay in this race. I'm thinking of the Taylor Swift song that might be running around in Jill Biden's head right now of it's me, I'm the problem, it's me. She's the force behind it. She's the one who's spending every day with the president who sees how he's doing cognitively and she's the loudest voice in his ear, no doubt, which is appropriate as right. his wife. But the situation is dire and she needs to be the voice saying, okay, it's time to pull back. And she's clearly not doing that. And I have to say, you know, I think the one of the biggest concerns, Jason, as you mentioned, while polls aren't always reliable, sure. And I think many Americans, especially young Americans, probably didn't watch the debate. Oh, but they have seen clips by oh, this point. And let yeah. me tell you, social media has been on fire. Fire. And where are the young people? Joe Biden needs the young people. There's He's going to get reelected. Mark, let me get your country where Kennedy yeah. gets Mark, let me let me get your opinion on this as well. It I, only gets worse. Mm. And to Jason's point of people on, on anonymous, throw them in the, the trash in terms of those comments. When the Democrats are talking on the record, throw it in the trash. <laughs> they lie, lie, lie. They've been lying to us for years about Joe Biden's capacity and mental acuity. Mm. Uh, so anytime they're on the record. Discount it 100 percent. It only gets worse. I don't know if President Trump will debate him again, okay? But if he does, it'll, it'll, it'll be even worse. Well, they're going to have to do Joe a debate Biden. between 10 and 4 p.m. I mean, <laughs> seriously. I mean, this is, this is where we are, where Biden gets to decide what the debate rules are, and yet he failed mm -hmm. miserably. Well, and, uh, Jason, you say you don't uh, uh, believe in polls, and you say that a lot, and then you cited a poll of undecided Latino voters in Arizona or something. Uh, you ignored the CBS poll that we just cited here, where 72 percent of Americans say they don't believe Joe Biden has the uh, cognitive ability to be president of the United States. That's a gigantic number, 72 percent. I know it's not undecided uh, Latinos in Arizona, but that's a huge number, a gigantic number. And, and everybody saw what Joe Biden, uh, you know, at long last, uh, you know, if you've been getting your media from left-wing outlets, then you've been kept in the dark for a long time. But welcome to the dance, pal.